A man with no pulse, no heartbeat, no signs of life. Until a Milwaukee police officer stepped in and saved his life. He had special training, but he told our Brandon Cruz anyone can do what he did. That's right, yeah. Sergeant Stephen Chin had been an EMT before, and it was that training he got there and that he gets through the department that made him grab an automated external defibrillator to save a man's life and restart his heart. No one should ever be afraid to grab one of these and use it. Sergeant Stephen Chin of the Milwaukee Police Department is talking about an automated external defibrillator, or AED. Remove clothes from patient's chest. It's a tool that can detect cardiac arrhythmias and shock the heart back into rhythm. You keep one in here, it's ready to go. It was ready to go on Wednesday night. The alarm went off that uh, there was a person having a cardiac incident outside the district. I uh, got up, grabbed our defibrillator. A man had been brought to the station and was laying in the parking lot when Chin got to him. And I checked for a pulse. I uh, had none. I put the defibrillator pads onto him, allowed the uh, machine to analyze, indicated that he needed a shock. Uh, one was delivered. While the machine was reassessing, Chin performed CPR and mouth to mask compression, and the man's pulse was fading before the machine said another shock was needed. Uh, we went through a total of uh, three shocks as well as mouth to mass compression uh, before the fire department arrived. The man was taken to the hospital and survived. Using an AED before the, the crew gets there from the paramedics is absolutely essential. Patty Flowers of the American Red Cross says having AEDs available can be the difference between life and death. Why wouldn't you want that extra tool so that you can get that person better and back into the, the world? Which is why Sergeant Chin is thankful he had an AED at his disposal. I'm glad to, to know that he's doing well, and I uh, wish him the best. I hope he continues to pull through. And AEDs are required by law in schools and in municipal buildings, and Flower says that they should be anywhere where there are large crowds that would gather, such as churches or libraries or stores. As for Sergeant Chen, he's very happy that the man is alive, obviously, and says that he had done this before 20 years earlier when he was in an EMT. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Brandon Cruz, Fox 6 News. All right, very good. Thank you, Brandon. New at 9, college fraternity.